Hello and welcome to this uh, video. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a tour of my home network. Uh, so I'm going to start where the network, or the internet comes into the house and it's here. So we have a uh, Overreach Master Socket 5C coming in and that is connected to a Huawei Ecolife HG612 version B modem, uh, which I'm actually running an unlocked firmware to get the um, full capabilities out of it and to be able to get the uh, stats running from the LAN 2 port. And I have one of these uh, because it enables me to uh, get the full uh, DSL stats off it, uh, which comes in really useful um, when you're dealing with a, a copper line because at the moment I've got a uh, FTTC uh, VDSL connection and I get about um, sync speed of about 36 down and about uh, 6 or 7 up. Um, so yeah, um, I will be getting uh, fibre to the premises in the future, uh, so um, keep tuned for videos when I get that, really excited about that. And uh, yeah, and also what's useful about this is that it's the modem and on LAN one port here it gives me the um, PPPOE um, connection which I can use on not just your um, celebrated that comes with your internet service provider but I'm using it with my uh, firewall which acts as my uh, main router uh, so it's really useful. Um, got a, a UPS for um, battery backup uh, for this thing here. Um, like I said when I get my fibre to premises um, hopefully I can get rid of all this here uh, when it goes. Um, throughout my house here I've got Cat6 uh, cabling um, so it becomes really useful. Uh, so here I've got um, ports 1 and 2 here, connected to the uh, LAN 1 and 2 port right here. So this is where the network starts per se. Cause the... So uh, here I am in the uh, office uh, where I've got a um, nice uh, comms rack here with a um, comms cupboard up here um, and a couple of uh, shelves going down, um, mainly for AV equipment but I've got some network equipment in there as well. Um, and a bit of spare space at the, uh, the bottom there. So here's my uh, comms cabinet in the office. Um, I've got an Excel uh, 48 port um, Cat6 um, patch panel and the Cat6 cable in, uh, like I said before, goes all around the uh, house um, and also some um, into the uh, garage slash data centre, which you'll see in a minute. Um, I've got some nice cable tidying in there. Uh, and I got uh, a micro tick, that's how you say it, um, micro tick uh, cloud smart switch, uh, the CSS 326-24G 2S plus RM. It's a really nice switch, cost me about 126 quid or something daft, uh, and it gives me two 10 gig SFP plus ports, uh, which I'm utilizing there, and uh, 24. Um, copper uh, one gig um, RJ45 ports as well uh, to power the uh, um, Mr. Hauser. So yeah, really nice uh, switch. Um, and then below that on the shelf, I've got a, another micro tick uh, switch, uh, which gives me um, four um, 10 gig SFP plus ports. Um, which is uh, really handy again, then it costs about 100 quid. And then I've got a Ubiquiti uh, PoE um, injector, um, which uh, powers my uh, Ubiquiti uh, U6 light access point. Um, and I've got a nice power strip on the bottom to keep things nice and neat. And also I've got um, a uh, HD base T, uh, receive it here which receives um, a signal from my CCTV system in the garage uh, which feeds to HDMI uh, switch so I can watch it um, on uh, multiple screens uh, if needed in the uh, house here to keep an eye on stuff. So that's my comms cabinet. On the next shelf down, a um, bit more of uh, an AV shelf this, um, I've got my uh, then on AVR X 2400H, um, which is powered by uh, Home Cinema, which you'll see in another video, that's be uh, really interesting. 
Uh, Over in this corner you'll see I have um, a couple of uh, Cat6 ports just to again keep everything neat, like, rise up to the patch panel. Uh, yeah, so here I've got my um, um, Ubiquitries uh, Networks Unify uh, 6U6 Lite uh, access point, so it's a PRE um, access point there. Um, so yeah, that's really nice. I need to obviously mount it properly. Uh, just got it sort of temporarily set up just here at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm really impressed with it. Yeah, last shelf I got um, a HP uh, Micro Server uh, Gen 8, uh, which is actually has my um, backup NAS, backup true NAS uh, installation. Um, this will be going to um, a relative's house. Uh, when I got my better internet connection with better upload speed. Um, and I also got a UPS behind my calendar here. Uh, that UPS um, powers the, uh, the serve, backup server there and the network equipment, all the stuff in the uh, cab as well. It's all UPS protected. Um, and in my office I've got some Merlin uh, free compartment trunk in which I've, which I've rigged up. Um, yeah, people, some people don't like trunking, but for me this is the only way to manage the whole mass of cables that um, goes, goes into uh, so take what I need. Um, you can see that I've got um, some Cat6 uh, patch points um, in trunking, as well as some HDMIs, uh, which I'll go into in the future video, which supports my um, uh, media side of, um, of things. Um, you see that I've got space for a, um, got my laptop there, uh, which has got some cabling there, the, uh, as well as Cat6 uh, cabling. Um, you can see here I've actually got an SFP Plus uh, port on the wall, and that's because I've got SFP Plus uh, 10 gig link into my uh, main PC, uh, which I use um, for video editing. Um, so I get a pretty much um, 10 gig link uh, straight through to the data center, which is excellent. Yeah, so here's a sneak peek of my um, main sort of setup in the office here. Uh, so I've got my main desktop computer, and I've got my uh, sort of TV, live TV studio gallery um, set up using the uh, Blackmagic A10 Mini Extreme. Uh, so we'll be covering that in another video, so uh, stay tuned for that. So here we are in the um, garage slash data center, as I like to call it. Um, so yeah, this is the, uh, I've got a um, um, cabinet here, uh, like a server uh, size one, because uh, I've got a couple of servers in there. And this is the back of the, uh, the cabinet, which I've uh, um, used for all the uh, sort of uh, networking and uh, comm stuff. So coming into the uh, garage, um, here we've got uh, four Cat6 cables and two um, fiber uh, OM3 uh, cables coming in um, that come in uh, from the uh, comms uh, cabinet in the uh, office. Okay, so here's the um, front of the server rack um, in its entirety. Uh, so at the top we've got the um, our CCTV system and we've got a HD base T um, sender there that sends it into the uh, into the house so I can view the HDMI um, feed of the CCTV system into my house. And I've got my uh, firewall there, uh, which I can't tell you what uh, it is. Um, it's a security appliance. Uh, but yeah, that takes the incoming PPUP OE connection from the um, open reach modem over a VLAN um, through the uh, trunk. And then I've uh, got lots of uh, LAN ports. It's a bit jank at the moment because I had to, that's the only place I could fit it in, so all the cabling is. Uh, not optimal or yeah, nicer. Um, and they've got um, one of two servers. Uh, the top one is not powered on, uh, but it's just there for uh, sort of spare use. Um, and then the bottom one is powered on, and that's the one that's running my VMware ESXi hypervisor with all my virtual machines. Uh, on top of the uh, cabinet here, sort of got my uh, KVM console, so I've got the ones there. Uh, keyboard and mouse, and I'm running um, through a uh, KVM system, which you'll see in a minute. Look around the back there is my uh, um, temperature monitor there. Okay, at the uh, back of the uh, cabinet here, uh, I've got some more exciting stuff. I, at the top of it, 
I've got um, some DNC uh, patch panel um, that drives my um, uh, CCTV and also links to my uh, wildlife camera so I can uh, sort of patch them in um, as, as and when I need to, which is really handy. Um, and then below that I've got a 24 port uh, Cat6 uh, generic brand uh, patch panel there. Um, and then a little uh, a bit of attempt to cable tidy. Um, and then another um, micro tick uh, CSS 326 24G 2S RM, same one basically as in the uh, other comms cabinet, uh, but this is for the, uh, my data center switch uh, there. Uh, so, yeah, so we've got the uh, 10 um, gig SFP plus uh, uplinks, got two of them, um, and then the 24 port uh, 1 gig um, copper ports there. Um, and then below that, I've got um, my uh, KVM uh, controller. Uh, which is a really good uh, one. I'll uh, dig out the model later and put it in the uh, description or on a little uh, graphic. Uh, but essentially, yeah, it's uh, it's got eight. Uh, you can connect up to eight uh, computers, um, say with whatever you want, uh, with the VGA um, and USB uh, for the keyboard and mouse. Um, and then it's got a little uh, console here we saw on the top there, so you can switch between the inputs. Uh, like a little remote controls that were, or you can press on the front of the thing there. Um, but yeah, it's a nice, nice little neat, neat unit, and it keeps it all nice and neat together here. Um, and another power strip there, which is uh, full as you can see. Um, this cabinet has actually got, um, it's on the sides, um, two um, uh, power strips for um, your sort of uh, kettle connections there uh, for your server equipment. Um, it's pretty handy. And then the uh, back of my live server at the bottom there, uh, which has got the two 10 gig SFP plus uh, fiber uplinks on a uh, solar flare card um, into the back of the server there, um, which uh, drives the network and basically uh, so it's used as a sort of trunk. Uh, it's got the IPMI uh, interface plugged in um, and the KVM um, stuff there. Um, not when really you're using the uh, copper uh, networking on it, um, it's just sort of like a bit of like management and a range of use uh, in case the uh, fiber fails for some reason. Uh, and of course, uh, the nice dual power supplies are plugged in, and um, small cable management at the bottom there. And uh, just at the bottom, you can see all the massive cables coming out and in <laughs> there. And just in the corner there, uh, you'll see uh, that's the for uh, Cat6 uh, cable from the um, internal comms room uh, from the office, uh, terminate there into a socket which is just hanging there because uh, you know it's a garage in there. So. Um, and then another UPS there which provides which, um, redundant power for the equipment in the rack. So that's it for uh, this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed my uh, little tour by uh, uh, quote unquote home network. Um, so, uh, but yeah, stay tuned for some more videos where I'll be showing you um, uh, some more of my uh, crazy setup, um, including my uh, home cinema, uh, featured a 110 inch uh, projector screen and Dolby Atmos surround sound, and also my uh, other media side of thing uh, where I've got my uh, TV studio um, gallery um, and my main computer. Uh, so, um, yeah, stay tuned for them and uh, take care. Bye. Thank you.